Now, before I get into this commentary, no, this is not about a, a video about praising Beyonce in whatever form or fashion think people might think or whatever the case may be. But I just want to, there's a reason why I'm doing this video because of the timing of it all, considering what just recently transpired with the Academy and Aretha Franklin, more so Hall T than anything. So in case y'all are unaware, Beyonce did a one and a half hour performance for some very important people over in Dubai recently, where I believe she was a paid, she was paid about 20 million dollars i think 2020 somewhere in that range in order to give a one and a half hour performance over there and it was just a one show gig and it was a private event so you had to be like exclusive to actually attend this event well for those who are unaware dubai is very anti-academy when i say very i do mean very anti-academy is some people over there that will probably flee to the states just so they could live their lives out in the open as free as they want to be that's how serious and strict it is over there which leads into the segment of many of beyonce's academy based fans which we know she has a huge academy based fan fan base are upset with her because she even dared to even perform over there even for the tune of $20 million, which is the is a huge, not well, not even huge, like a small drop in a bucket for her considering her net worth and the wealth she's amassed over the years in her career. But they are pissed at her. But like I said, I just find it ironic how they're mad about this, but they had the nerve to try to say that Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin is offensive to trans women. Let me get into this article. They said Beyonce's halo has slipped. The singer who has amassed a $500 million fortune thanks to a once in a generation talent and a peerless brand of savvy has shot an own goal by choosing a Dubai hotel for her live comeback. That was a straight dig right there. Just in that opening statement right there. And they love the pocket watch black people. What have I told y'all? They love to pocket watch black people because they made sure to put this woman's net worth in that first statement. In a land where homosexuality is illegal and punishment can mean the death penalty, the gig to mark the opening of Atlantis, the Royal, the crown jewel of the United Arab Emirates tourism industry is a jarring choice. Beyonce is celebrated is a celebrated icon of the gay community who away from the desert has been lauded as an ally of LGBTQ plus rights. In, tw in 2019, Beyonce and Jay-Z accepted the Vanguard Award at the 30th Annual GLAAD Awards for their work on behalf of the community. Jay-Z paid tribute to his own mother, Gloria Carter, who was openly gay. In 2011, in a 2011 interview, Beyonce once trilled to an Academy publication pride source. The amount of confidence and fearlessness it takes to do what society may think is different, to be brave and be different, and to be yourself, is just so beautiful. Not worrying about satisfying or becoming what other people think you're supposed to be, that's like the ultimate dream. In Dubai, Beyonce herself seemed a little more inhibited, a world away from her famous alter ego, Sasha Fierce. Notably absent from the one hour set, which reportedly earned her $24 million were any tracks from her recent U.S. number one album, Renaissance, said to be inspired by black queer icons and dedicated to her late gay uncle. She also refers to as her godmother. Instead of smash hit single Break My Soul, the audience was treated to a syrupy Disney duet with the singer's 11 year old daughter, Blue Ivy, and a rendition of Ave Maria. Decked out in a canary yellow feathers, seven and a half million dollars of bling and flanked by pyrotechnics, the spectacle still couldn't detract from the whiff of hypocrisy that has sparked widespread condemnation and accusations that the Texas native left her conscience at home. It's particularly disappointing because in the past, Beyonce has rightfully used her voice and platform to advocate for the rights of the Academy people in the United States, says Selene Asaf Bustani, president of the Human Rights Foundation. What message does it send to the world when she performs in a country where these rights are systematically violated? We urge her and others artists to refrain from lending their credibility to dictatorships and be consistent in their support for rights that are university, not just Amer not just for Americans. Before I go any further, I hope people realize that this woman is all about her money. I mean, I think she's alluded to that in some of her songs and she's not the only one. 
and their fans are going to have to understand that if they were in, let me be honest, if a lot of the people that's complaining about this were in her position, they would have did the same thing. Let's just be completely honest with ourselves here. We have a lot of people out here who try to run around like these Judases and think that they're high and mighty and, you know, holier than now. But they know without the shadow of a doubt, if they was in her position, they would have probably done the same exact thing. That's why people need to stop putting celebrities on pedestals. They always say never meet your never meet your celebrity or your favorite celebrity or people that you're, you deem as icon and everything like that. Because sometimes at one point or another, they may just disappoint you. But it's going to drive home a bigger point. But I want to get to this article first. Peter Tatchell. A prominent gay human rights activist blasted Beyonce for, quote unquote, ditching her own progressive values. It looked like she did this to appease Dubai's homophobic regime, which has the death penalty for homosexuality. He posted, like many of her Academy fans, I feel betrayed and angry. Her liberal reputation has taken a hard knock. Daily. You know what? It's funny too. remember at one point when they was mad when because Beyonce wasn't a feminist, (laughs) they wanted that woman to be a feminist so bad because she sung about women's empowerments and different songs like that but she didn't lean too heavily into third wave feminism so they got mad at her about that if y'all rem- if y'all remember that that was a whole little sector years ago but we have since removed that now they have found another way or another tactic to use against her which is this dailymail.com has sent requests for comment to other major american academy rights organizations the human rights campaign and glad but has not received the response and they probably won't because i'm gonna be honest them groups know for a fact if they ever say to whatever to quote unquote drop beyonce as a i guess you could say sponsor or some kind of representative for them in any capacity that would probably hurt their numbers or hurt them in a major way so again it's business and a lot of her fans don't understand that it's just business Of course, Beyonce isn't the first megastar to sell out to the Dubai dollar or appear to have a price on their conviction. In fact, it's a well-known territory, well-worn territory. The super rich have formed for being easily bought a limitless and unquenchable thirst to keep adding more and more to their already extraordinary wealth only ramps up the tackiness and duplicity alongside all the political posturing. Take David Beckham's $180 million ambassadorial stint at the Qatari world cup last month another perceived betrayal of the former footballers long established gay fan base at the time his spokesman burbled we understand that there are different and strongly held views about engagement in the middle east but see it as a positive that debate about the key issues that has stem has been stimulated directly by the first world cup being held in the region attempts to defend a dodgy payday from often struggle to sound convincing both mariah carey and beyonce feigned ignorance over who had actually booked them when they were outed for performing at private parties for the family of libyan dictator muammar Gaddafi back in 2011. meanwhile the dubai scandal has prompted an odd line of defense from beyonce's father matthew who has praised his daughter's ability to bring people closer with a performance which was apparently a celebration of unity and diversity it's a measure of popularity and widely regarded creative credibility that Beyonce's decision to perform in the United Arab Emirates has great graded so deeply. People feel let down up to now. She has demonstrated a rare ability to marry mainstream appeal with a degree of political engagement. See, what they did was is they leaned so heavily on this woman on her mega success to be, I guess, a bridge to guide them into whatever it is that I guess into some kind of a promised land. And they feel so betrayed and let down by her that they're going to, I guess this is their way of trying to cancel her. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's probably not going to happen. And notice that most of the people that are feeling this type of way are those who are from here in the States. They're realizing now that their group is not as big as they think it is. They don't have that global reach like they thought they did. Your reach only extends from the East Coast to the West Coast and the North and the South. It might be in some other places sprinkled around, but it's not all all over the globe, especially not in Dubai. Rarely missing an opportunity to assert her social conscience and liberal credentials, the pro-gun 
the pro-gun control Democrat has also been a vocal proponent of female empowerment, body positivity, and black rights memorably paying homage to the Black Lives Matter movement, Malcolm X and the Black Panthers during the halftime at the Super Bowl in 2013. As her political capital has risen exponentially with her fame, she has been a starry fixture at all the seminal moments from serenading the Obamas at the inaugural ball with Etta James at last to endorsing Joe Biden on Instagram at the eve of the election. In her songs, she disses Donald Trump and Karens as an embodiment of intolerance, bigotry, and oppression. But all that activity feels a little hollow and tainted as she flies back with her check from a dictatorship. Great artists tend to be chameleons sustained by a knack for reinvention and constant creative change, but politics and principles can't be applied and discarded like a costume or video concept. True values demand consistency. Perhaps stars like Beyonce are victims of all a complex culture that exerts a pressure to be all things of all people to all people, a zeitgeist that demands activism. Adoring fan bases demand a social conscience in every single or film release exalting many stars to unsustainable levels, yet drifting in and out of activism and their principles to suit the audience and their paymaster will always see these stars called out, as the great Queen Bee herself has discovered. Like I said, they said all of this and they think that this is somehow going to really taint her. But like I said, they just, in the words of Rob, I think this is the best way to put it. They have now found out that the world is indeed correct. They have found that out. And they're going to continue to find that out. And not just with Beyonce, but with a lot of these other celebrities. That's why I say you do not hold these individuals up on pedestals. You do not idolatrize them or none of that. Because they will find a way to disappoint you. It is what it is. Again, this is a businesswoman at the end of the day. She's gone beyond just being a singer and entertainer. She's running a brand. She is a brand. Basically, she married a brand. Her whole life is branding at this point. So, yeah, you know, there it is. I mean, will she lose some fans behind this? Of course, but she'll probably have just as many left than she lost. I'm just being completely honest. And one last thing that I want to insert into this, and like I said, this is something I want to say for, towards the end after I got done reading the article. I find it interesting that a lot of her fans are mad and upset with her right now because they, I think they probably acted this way before. But I bet you when she drops her next single or something that they can uh, pussy pop to, they're going to be all they're going to be all for it and they're going to forget that this even happened. Watch what, and mark my word. What did I tell y'all? Now, this right here is a, a image from Beyonce's official Instagram page, where, as you can see, it says it has her name right here. It, it blows my mind. This woman has 294 million followers. That's crazy. But anyway, it says Renaissance World Tour. Now, what did I tell y'all? I told y'all the minute that she announced that she's about to do something else, they're going to forget what happened in Dubai. And they're going to get them tickets and they're going to sell these stadiums out so they can go and bussy pop in front of their queen. I'm telling you, them tickets are going to sell out. And I think they said the tickets go on sale on February 6th. Now, I recorded the first part of this video on January 25th. I'm recording this second part that you're hearing right now on the first. I'm telling you, they're going to line right on up and completely forget about all the fake outrage they expressed <laughs> when she did that one and a half hour, $24 million payout private performance in Dubai. Watch what I say. <laughs> 